Hey guys, this is Nurul Huda and I am a verified educator at An Academy. Along with that, I am teaching live on An Academy Plus. It's a live platform where educators like me are taking live classes for various competitive exams. I personally teach for CSIR Net, GATE and TIFR exam. So if you guys are preparing for upcoming CSIR Net, GATE or TIFR exam, you can subscribe to my classes and you can join my classes on Unacademy Plus. So for that, what you have to do is take Unacademy Plus subscription and there you can uh, attend my classes live over there. Now uh, for that, if you put my referral code that is N underscore Huda uh, while taking subscription, you will get a discount of 10% on your subscription fee. There are also many offline lessons available on Unacademy. You can enhance your problem solving skills by watching those offline videos as well. So that's all from for this particular part. Now let's continue with our video. Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So uh, this particular video is going to be exclusively for those students uh, who have qualified CSIR June 2019 exam and uh, those who are waiting for their certificates to be downloaded or like those who are trying to get their certificates like their JRF or LS certificate, right? And a few days back, CSIR has uh, like posted up a notification on their official website. And there is a lot of confusion among students regarding that notification that what to do with that, right? Uh, like uh, what documents need to be sent and whom uh, that particular notification is like actually tell, uh, correspond to or th whom they are actually asking to send the documents. Like because there are three kinds of students. One are uh, those who are CSIR, JRF others who are UGC JRF and the third kind of students who are just LS who are just uh, like uh, who have just qualified for the lecturership they are not JRF students so this particular uh, uh, notification is actually for a domain of students uh, a fixed domain of students uh, like on whom uh, this applies right so I'll try to explain you with that so first of all let me just tell you that how you can get that notification so if you are like if you have just opened this website that is uh, CSIR official website you just have to scroll down a little bit and over here uh, like in the news and announcement you can see the first uh, over here is notice regarding the issue of certificate to the joint CSIR UGC test uh, for JRF and eligibility for the lecturership that is net June 2019 qualified candidates and this was announced actually on 3rd of October right so I'm just making this video quite late but yeah it, this information need, needs to be forwarded so that's why this is important video for you for all those students right so first of all you just need to click over here and then you will get this notice uh, like you can just download this notice so let me just adjust it so yeah here you have on the screen so this is for those students who have qualified like all the qualified uh, candidates of June 2019 CSIR UGC net exam and this is regarding the issue of certificate so uh, there are two kinds of certificate generally a person who qualifies CSI net exam there are two kinds of certificates which he generally gets uh, one is the JRF certificate and the other one is uh, the LS certificate okay so JRF certificate is used to uh, like to uh, to enroll for the fellowship or to just initiate your fellowship uh, uh, like you need to submit that JRF certificate in your particular institute and LS certificate just signifies that yeah you have qualified CSIR net and you are eligible for lecturership anywhere in the interview for assistant professor and all okay so the validity of this uh, JRF certificate is for two years whereas the validity of your net certificate is lifelong okay so this JRF certificate is actually more important although net is also important but yeah like if we, if we talk about from the from the fellowship point of view so JRF certificate is much much more important okay so let's go with it so this is uh, for those students who have got result in part one now this is something which uh, students are not getting actually so there are three parts uh, in the result there is part one part two and part three there are three parts so let me just explain you what these three parts are so part one is the result for those students who have qualified for JRF okay under CSIR okay those who are CSIR JRF so as I already told you in the starting of this video that there are two kinds of JRF, CSIR JRF and UGC JRF and uh, frankly speaking what is the difference between them and all uh, I'm not going into that in this particular video I'll make a separate video out of that but yeah there are two kinds of JRF, CSIR JRF and uh, UGC JRF funding agency for both of them is, are different 
so this is for csi or grf students okay and those like those students have their roll number in part one so if you have that uh, like result of csi june 2019 there are three parts in that so in part one all the roll number correspond to csi or grf student now don't get confused with this ls okay it just tells you that okay the student who has qualified for grf slash ls means uh, while applying for exam many students apply for grf and ls both some apply for grf only right so this is actually signifying that thing that those who have applied for grf slash ls means grf or ls or they have applied for grf only but they have qualified the cutoff and their name comes under csir grf list okay so don't get confused with this ls over here they are not at all talking about the ls student ls student have their name in part three of the result okay so in part one the names are only for csi or grf students now uh, the certificates of this uh, candidates having their roll numbers in part one of the result see they have uh, like they have done it in a like they have underlined these things so that uh, like so that you can pay more focus on that particular part that the roll number in part one of the result that is CSI, GRF, LS and GRF only. Now again, don't get confused with this LF, that LS. That is, uh, that is just signifying that that candidate might have filled form for GRF slash LS or GRF only category. Now, uh, will be issued by the examination unit that is CSIR Complex New Delhi. Okay, so CSIR is uh, planning to uh, give uh, their certificates, their GRF certificates. Now, such candidates are required to send self-attested photocopies of the following documents. Now, what this particular whole thing is telling you is that this notification is only for CSIR GRF student. UGC GRF student, there is nothing mentioned till now for them. Okay, neither there is anything mentioned for net students. So don't uh, like don't if you are UGC GRF or if you are just LS qualified. So don't go with this notification. This is not for you. Okay, this this notification is not at all for you. Now, uh, yeah, so what about those who have qualified as CSI or GRF? So they have to uh, submit or they have to just send all these documents using through the ordinary post. Okay, you can send all these things to the uh, using ordinary post. So uh, a photocopy or the Xerox copy of all these all these documents. That is your mark statement. That is your scorecard of CSI net. Then your admit card of CSI net. Uh, the one which you have qualified that is June 2019. Then your 10th class. A certificate as a proof of your date of birth okay so dob proof will be done from your class 10th certificate then your degree or the provisional degree of qualifying exam that means uh, if you are if you have qualified your masters already then the degree of that or if you have just qualified and you don't have a degree so you have to send the provisional degree which is issued by the university uh, for like uh, within the within one year of your uh, like within one year of your uh, qualifying exam right so that you can get from the university so degree or provisional degree you have to submit now final mark sheet with the required percentage of marks that means final mark msc mark sheet basically they are asking with the required marks means 60 percent whatever they guys were asking for the master so that marks you should have and if you are getting your marks under cgpa sgpa ogpa or cpi way like your marks are not in percentage whether like they are in cgpa form or sgp or ogp or cpi format then you need to also send out the conversion formula and their respective university institute or the certificate from the concerned university institute clearly stating the percentage of marks in the qualifying degree so uh, those who, uh, guys who get mark sheet in the form of cgp or sgp they know this thing that university also gives a conversion formula every university have their own conversion formula so uh, you need to send a certificate or a form or or something which states that what is actually the conversion formula for your respective university so these things you will get from your university okay don't worry about that just have to ask in your university and they will give that so next is your bifurcation uh, of marks period in in the case of dual degree so if you have dual degree then uh, this is for them dual degree means if you are doing two courses at the same time okay so for that this is uh, then SCST certificate if applicable. So if you are if you belong to this category, you have to give that certificate. Then if you are if you belong to OBC, uh, like if you belong to OBC non creamy layer, then you have to give that caste certificate based upon NCBC website. That means the in the central government format. So you, you have to visit this website and then you have to give like in that particular format you have to give 
the OBC certificate and that that has to be latest one okay PWD uh, candidates um, uh, should submit certificate as per the government of India rules so those certificates they need and EWS which is the latest category which has been included this time so that certificate also they are asking so if you have applied under EWS uh, category then you have to apply income and SS certificate which is uh, like which is issued by appropriate competent uh, authority of your state or whatever the way you are getting EWS certificate so that certificate also you have to submit now this thing uh, you have to keep in mind for those who have applied under result aviated category so for those who have applied that uh, should submit the required documents only after completion of their requisite qualification so if you are in your master's uh, third year or sorry master's third semester or in the master's first year so you don't have the, your master's final year or like your master's certificate or something right or your mark sheet or something so you cannot apply for that right now you have to wait and once you qualify your uh, like uh, your master's when you qualify your msc after that you have to submit all these documents to the csir send all these documents in the same format to csir okay so you have to wait for that so if you have filled under result aviated category then this is for you otherwise uh, if you have those documents then obviously you have to send that okay then candidates are required to send the above mentioned document by ordinary post to so this is the address given section officer certificate section hrd group csir complex library annex road uh, PUSA, uh, New Delhi, uh, 110012. So this is all the address which is given to you. Now candidates while sending the document must superscribe on the envelope. So all the documents, okay, uh, let me just tell you a few things about that. If you're sending your document, uh, make sure that you are fill, like you are, you're sending that in a A4, A4 envelope and your sheet should not be folded up, okay. All the sheet should be plain and that should be in the A4 envelope. Although that is not mentioned, but that, that, gives your certificate of more formal look so it's just advice from my side so yeah you have to write down these things on the on the above of your envelope that documents for june 2019 csir jrf ls part one result okay see again they have mentioned that only for part one students this is and your ro roll number also okay so your roll number also you have to mention on the envelope itself on the uh, like on a, on the cover sheet of your envelope now note in case there is any change in the mailing address now if if you have written some other mailing address um, in the form and now you want to change that mailing address so that also you can do uh, you have to just send the full and complete detail of the new present address along with the above documents means those documents along with that you have to give the new address which you want to be changed and they will change that and send your document on that particular address now the next one is as mentioned in the result notification the fellowship is valid for two years as i already told you so the fellowship is valid for two years with effective from 1 1 2020 so the fellowship will be effective from the first of january 2020 and it will be valid up to two years from that that means it will be valid up to 2022 okay so first of jan 2022 fellowship will be valid means you can in uh like you can um submit this certificate and like you can get the fellowship within this range uh, after this 2022 this certificate will be null and void so that will not be of any use uh, for the cert for getting fellowship next is the tentative date for start of issue of certificate that is 14th of october so if you send all these documents on time uh, probably you will start getting your e like not e certificate your certificates by post after 14th of october so Till the end of October, you'll get your certificate in your hand. Now, those now this was all about the, for those students who were having their name in part one of the result. Now, what about those who have name in part two and part three of the result? So, part two correspond to UGC JRF slash LS. That again tells you the same thing that those students who have uh, enrolled, like those who have filled the form as uh, JRF slash uh, LS category, right? means jrf or ls category and uh, the lecturership only means the one who have just qualified for net th those who have just qualified for ls so in respect of the issue of certificate to the candidates having their rule number in part two and part three of the result uh, of ugc jrf ls and lectureship only will be intimated shortly so there is no information regarding those students okay so if you are if you belong uh, or if you have qualified under ugc jrf or you are just a net qualified student you are just a ls qualified student so there is no information provided uh, 
for you in this particular notification but uh, like from my experience i'll just give you a short advice that ugc jrf students okay for ugc jrf student and for net student for net student you will get a e certificate okay so you will get a e certificate for that and soon that link will be active on the ugc website so i'll be uh, like i'll inform you guys whenever that link will come on ugc uh, like website uh, for for a net student for ls qualified just ls qualified student for those who are ugc jrf uh, those guys can also download their uh, like um, e certificate for net from like net e certificate from the website itself but for their uh, jrf certificate uh, i don't think you have to send documents to ugc ugc generally send you all the documents on your permanent address okay if not they will just give some other notification so you have to wait for that okay just wait for that unless and until they uh, give some notification regarding you guys or uh, like uh, they give that e certificate for net okay so any further detail or any further notification if it will come i'll notify you over here in this on this particular channel so that's all for this video guys uh, this was exclusively for those who have qualified i know this video uh, has a very less margin of students who will watch and like uh, for them who is like for for those uh, whom this video is going to be beneficial but in future if you qualify for this exam you'll you have to be aware about that what documents you need so you you should be uh, like you should be ready with all of them right so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys uh, got some uh, information got some clarity regarding the uh, regarding the documents and everything so uh, yeah so if you are new to this channel just subscribe it so that in future whenever the notification will come i'll notify you over here and you'll get uh, like information about that so and also i keep on posting videos regarding different topics for csr net gate differ exam so if you're new to this channel subscribe it if you like this video give it a like and if you want to ask anything regarding this particular notification or anything you can ask me in the comment section below so thank you so much for watching guys have a great day Bye bye